Hey guys, welcome back to the second official episode of the Superman Collector's Vlog. So, in today's episode, we're going to be talking all about statues. So in the last episode, we talked about some of the older stuff in my collection, the 1940s stuff. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you do, and make sure you subscribe to this channel. But today, we're going to be talking all about statues, just like this one right here, because something really cool happened about a month ago, and I added almost 300 statues to my collection. So I got a message from a friend of mine on Facebook, huge statue collector in the Superman community, but he told me it was time to sell and it was time to move on. So the catch was, it was about a seven hour drive from my house. There was about 300 statues, and if I wanted them, somehow I had to find a way to go pick them up and get them all back here safely. Which, if you've ever dealt with these kind of statues, that's quite the task because these things are extremely fragile. But I did it. I rented a 15-foot U-Haul, woke up at 4 in the morning, got on the road, made a 14-hour round trip, and loaded that U-Haul literally from the very floor to the very ceiling and got them all back. Honestly, I was kind of shocked because out of everything, only two little pieces of statues broke. Uh, the dream for that many back, I was really, really happy. So, I got about 300 statues. I had a lot of them in my collection already, so a lot of them I, I had bought to sell um, through Facebook and through these, these various groups. Um, but I did end up keeping about 100 of the statues that I added to my personal collection in addition to the ones that are already here. Um, so I'm really excited about it. I wasn't super familiar with the statues. I had, I had dabbled in them a little bit, but the ones I picked up were really, really cool, and they just make a great display. Um, it really adds that extra pop to your collection. So these amazing statues of Christopher Reeve are some of my favorites in the collection. Obviously, Christopher Reeve being the actor who played Superman in 1978 Superman the movie. But you can just see the level of detail on these things with that amazing Fortress of Solitude base. Um, comes with an extra head. Um, as you can see here, you got the smiling variation versus that more serious look. Um, but this, as far as I know, is a custom piece, really, really cool. And then you have the more widely available sideshow uh, premium format piece there. And then you got a little smaller piece over here, the Iron Studios Superman uh, standing on the flagpole. Um, then over on this side here, this is by Wild Mind Studios, a piece out of only 100 editions, that awesome um, Christopher Reeve scale bust. This is one that I've actually had in my collection uh, for quite some time now. Guys, this is one of my favorite statues in the entire collection, and let me tell you why. So the Warner Brothers store, um, some, of the, some of you, that name is ring, ringing some bells there. The Warner Brothers Studio Store put out this extremely limited edition bronze statue. Um, it's numbered out of 150 editions, but many people think quite a few less than that were actually made. Um, I've heard numbers as low as 50 of these things actually made it into production. Um, but what's really cool about this, I had one in my collection, but when I bought these most recent statues, um, I realized something special about this one. This one is the number one numbered statue out of the whole bunch. This uniquely styled series with the uh, granite bases is made by an artist named Ron Lee. Uh, I'm missing one or two from the series here, but these things, uh, they don't look this way, but I promise you they each weigh like 30 or 40 pounds. These things are extremely heavy. So this is one of my favorites in the new collection. It is by Prime Studios, and it's the Supergirl one-third scale statue with Streaky the Cat. Um, so as you can see, just absolutely gorgeous piece here. Um, so statues are, are in scales. So, so quarter scale is going to be your typical big boy. They're, they're a lot of custom, but these one third scales are even bigger. Um, uh, and they just have a real presence. They're, they're huge. Um, Sideshow, Prime Studios, XM Studios, some of the big names and statues right now. Um, but you can just see the incredible detail on that one. Um, just a beautiful piece. This one's actually a recent piece here, but it's one of my favorite uh, bases because you can see it's Superman with a Brainiac's head um, and then that awesome, looks like Brainiac skull base there. But uh, really, really cool piece, highly, highly detailed.
statue behind me here is one I've actually had for many, many years. A really cool story about this. Uh, a friend of mine shot me a text message. Uh, he lives out in Muncie, Indiana, which is about two hours from here. And he said, hey, there's a, uh, there's a life-size Superman statue on, I think it was either Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace right now. And he said, I don't want it. I can't fit it in my house. Let, let me know if you do. I'll send you the information. So I said, sure. Um, so this was back when I was in college. So it was actually, from where we were, it was about three and a half hours away. So after classes one day, uh, my wife and I got in the car. We drove out to Muncie, Indiana. It was like out of a movie with all those giant windmills across this field as we got closer and closer to this house. But we pulled in, and sure enough, there he was um, in several pieces, and we loaded him into this rental minivan. Apparently the story was um, this guy had gotten him in a skateboard collection. I don't know what he was doing with a, uh, a collection of skateboards all those years, um, but I was certainly thrilled to have him. So we packed him up, loaded him up, brought him back into my apartment that time, again, as I was finishing school. Um, and he's uh, been proudly in the collection ever since. So those, again, are just a few of my favorites on display right now. Um, but I still have an entire extra bedroom full of statues that I'm still selling from the collection um, and an entire storage room of statues that I'm keeping that I don't really have room to put on display right now. Uh, but but as you can see, statues are really, really cool. They make an awesome display piece. Um, they're, they're fairly easy to get if you get them when they're first available. The price does tend to go up pretty quickly after they retire. Um, so if you see one you like, make the purchase. It'll be worth it, I promise. But guys, thanks again so much for watching episode two of the Superman Collector's Vlog. Please, please, please make sure you are subscribed to this channel. I have so much cool stuff to show you, and I don't want you to miss a thing. Plus, when you subscribe and like this video and add a comment, it helps show this video to other fans out on YouTube.